My name is Cahal O'Donovan and I'm a pig farmer from Timalee in the heart of beautiful West Cork. I graduated from UCD in 2020 with a degree in veterinary medicine. Along with my parents, Martin and Angela, and the rest of my family, I helped to run our fully integrated modern pig farm. When we heard about the concept of biorefinery glass, we were more than happy to get involved, as we are always looking for innovative ways which may help us to reduce our carbon footprint and promote sustainability on farm. Most of our feed is supplied by our local cooperative, Barrio Co-op. We purchase locally grown wheat and barley, which makes up the majority of our pigs' diets. All of our pigs are sold to a local meat processing facility just two kilometers from our farm. All of our slurry produced on farm is transported to our nearby anaerobic digester. There, the slurry is mixed with other food waste materials and natural biogas is produced. This in turn is used to power generators which create renewable electricity. The digestate produced is then spread as an organic fertilizer on the soils which are used to grow wheat and barley which we use to feed the pigs. In this project, local farmers cut grass and passed it through the biorefinery process. A liquid juice was extracted and the remaining grass, known as a press cake, was baled and trialled while being fed to cattle as a grass silage comparison. The liquid juice was dried and provided a protein rich extract suitable for feeding to monogastric animals such as pigs. This extract was mixed into our typical diet while displacing almost 50% of the usual soya levels from the diet. This protein rich soya is typically imported from warmer climates such as South America. Clearly, locally grown grass being able to provide a protein source to feed our pigs was an extremely interesting concept. We trialled the new feed on wiener pigs, which were two months old. We weighed the pigs and measured their feed intake on a weekly basis. At first, the trial group were slow to adapt to their new feed with the grass-based protein source. However, after a week, they got used to the change and completed the trial, having a higher average daily intake as well as having a higher average daily gain compared to the control group. The trial lasted 30 days, at which point the pigs were moved to a new, more spacious finisher house. We were privileged to be involved in an innovative project such as this, and we look forward to any further advancements and opportunities in this area. Thank you.